Chinese intelligence satellite has fallen from orbit and is believed to be under the polar ice near 84 north, 16 east. The satellite has valuable data on Chinese intelligence targets and collection methods that will be invaluable in determining Chinese intentions in the coming conflict. This information is equally valuable to the Russians, and Russian submarines are undoubtedly racing to retrieve the satellite. Proceed to the satellite position and use mine hunting sonar to find the satellite. Use divers to recover the satellite, and then proceed to 8352 North, 1430 East, and await instructions for a rendezvous to transfer the satellite package. You are the only U.S. submarine in position for this mission. Treat all submarines encountered as hostile. While the primary mission is to recover the satellite, your ship is more likely to survive if preemptive action is taken against enemy subs. Bom, bom. Be careful. This mission is vital. Because you avoided being harassed by the ocean vulture SAG, you were in a good position to reach the satellite ahead of Russian forces. By attacking the escorts, you have blunted the effectiveness of the greatest threat to your recovery effort. Oh, yeah. You should be able to reach the satellite before any other submarines arrive. Be alert for submarines approaching the area as you attempt recovery and depart the area. The satellite can only be mined for intelligence if it reaches the Defense Intelligence Agency. By attacking the Akula escort, you have eliminated the greatest threat to your recovery effort. Cha-ching. Hey, everyone. FPS Chasley here. Welcome back to Let's Play Subcommand. Sorry for the late video today, but I was recording a podcast yesterday with my friends Barnstorm and Norman Kelschmo. I'll put a link to that at some point, whenever that gets edited and put up. That was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun with that, so be sure to check that out. Check them out. Um, all right, so we're supposed to be recovering a down satellite. It looks like we're at ETA about one hour until we get there at 10 knot speed. Jeez. But, uh... The only thing I have a problem with is satellites aren't really meant to re-enter into Earth's atmosphere. You can't just say it's just fall, falling out of orbit is putting it very simply. Like, this thing is going to be, has like a massive amount of kinetic energy to stay in orbit. So that thing is like, like, I would say 999 times out of a thousand, the satellite is just going to completely get destroyed on re-entry. So unless it was like a satellite meant specifically to be re-entered at some point... Um, that's just my that's just me being a little space nut finicky about it, but it's still a cool concept nonetheless. Makes for a good mission. So uh, yeah, what have we got? Tracker sign. Yellow sphere. Yeah, if you can hear it, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold here. And uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. I was doing my darndest to not get sick, but thankfully the mono has pretty much all but let up at this point. So. The cold wasn't really piling on top of any other symptoms, so that's nice. This is like a head cold. It's just kind of like a little sinus pressure going on and stuff. Not too bad. What do we got? Uh, it's all pretty pretty clear right now. Not much going on. We got a... Ah, uh, we are picking up the satellite. That is that sound. Right there. That is the satellite. For whatever reason, it's making a crap ton of noise, be it flow noise or whatever. There are no surface ships around here. This is all very highly covered in ice, 97% coverage. Uh, we can do this and see what the ice thickness is. Let's slow down to five knots. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering on. We're gonna go ahead and raise the scope and check out the ice thickness. Is there even a way to check ice thickness in this game? There might not be. That might be dangerous waters only. Uh, da 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 da. Well, let's just raise this up. I'm not seeing a thing for ice thickness here. There's usually a thing for ice thickness. That may only be in uh, dangerous waters there, the ice thickness. That is not what I wanted to do. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting... Uh, I'm trying to, like... I mount my microphone on earplugs to keep it from, like, picking up bassy noises, but it, it's been, like... It, like, never did this before, never, like, rolled around, but now it's rolling around off the little things. Does a very good job of dampening out all the bassy notes that used to be in my older videos. That's a very large delivery area. <laughs> Looking at, like, 50 times 50, it's, like, what, 2,500 square miles or something? Jeez, man. But, yeah, we seem to be picking up this satellite. We're heading right for this satellite. 
So, uh, yeah, and we're not seeing anything else around here right now. It's pretty quiet. Not much going on, so let's just uh, maybe speed up some time here. I realize that's what they started me at. Well, hang on, let me see what our uh, most approach within uh, 200 yards of the satellite and slow to two knots or less. Most Also must be a periscope depth. Yeah, it's emitting a broadband signal. <laughs> uh, once the satellite is aboard, surface anywhere within 40 nautical miles of that point. Attack and sink any Russian submarines that threaten your mission. Yeah, I, I would imagine that it's recommended to sink everyone before you surface because everyone's going to hear that. It's going to make a ton of noise. Uh, so, yep, we'll proceed back to... Uh, oh, I didn't speed back up to two-thirds two here. Hell am I. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I want to stay at two-thirds this whole time here. But, man, this is some clear sonar, dude. There's some good acoustical conditions out here, I tell you. Well, with the ice up there, I don't have any, like, uh, waves or anything. Oh, man, these icebergs are sketching me out. Uh, let me go to the high freak. Uh, go to the high freak. Yeah, we can, uh, you can see the ice up there and icebergs with the high freak here. Approach goal complete. Continue with your Approach mission. Approach goal complete. I'm still pretty far away from the thing, dude. <laughs> All right, uh, let's check out Sierra One. Zero knots, and let's find out where that intersection is. Hold you constant, Spasiba. Bajalsta. Um, let's go off to uh this way for a little bit. Come right to course zero seven nine. Gonna get a few uh just a few LOBs over there just to get this triangulation nailed down, but it's pretty much looks like it's gonna be like right around there or something. But we'll get it figured out here. Oh, hello. Was that big old iceberg? I suppose so. I can see that from really far away. It's got to be a big old iceberg or something, man. Yeah, hey, look at that bad boy. Something else. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, did it not mark it? I guess not. All right, let's check out back to the sonar. So since this thing is stationary, you can just put this right where all these things intersect. And there you go. That's where our satellite is, right there. So let's head up that way. Yep, back that way. What's our ETA? An hour. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, let's try and make sure we're not going to be hitting any ice boigs here. Make sure to stay clear of those. Good old high freak, man. Good old high freak. We're clear of them. Uh, what is our... Oh, dude, I'm going, why am I so shallow? Go deep. I want to get the hell away from these freaking things. Seven, zero, zero. Oh, I got a layer of one. Th that's bye a bye. deep layer. I'm surprised there's even a layer beneath ice. You think there wouldn't really be too much solar insolation, not insulation, insolation. That means just heating up due to the sunlight. You would think there really wouldn't be any of that around here with ice and stuff like that. Report for debrief. What? 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 I guess there was a Ruski sub right there. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> let's try this again. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Jeez, man. <laughs> that was the most bizarre thing. I guess they beat me too. I didn't. I didn't pick it. Well, I, I guess I did pick up a Ruski at one point. Um, I draw a little bit of this back in. It's going on 600, and I'm going to approach at an angle. Cause someone was like coming up on that thing pretty good. Like, like uh, I, I, right at the end there on that toad, I saw a whiff of someone else heading up towards that thing. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, oh, look at the high frequency. Let's mark some icebergs or something. I don't know. I was thinking about, because uh, I looked at the, the mission screen, and you can kind of just, like, uh, like any and all outcomes are, like, acceptable in this campaign, except for you dying, of course. So, like, the Russians capturing the satellite is an acceptable outcome to this mission, but I don't want it to be. <laughs> I want to get that thing, man. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get that thing. 
get that sucker. Oh, okay. Ugh. I didn't realize I forgot to stop it at some point. All right, let's uh. Yeah. I have a new contact. Yeah. Zero three. I don't even know why I marked the reciprocal. I know that's not the real thing. Zero three drop. Bearing three zero. All right, all right. Okay, so we can get our little intersection going on pretty good here. So let's throw that bad boy right there. Oh uh, wait, zoom back in. It might be drifting ever so slightly. Nah, it looks about right. I might be able to 10 second history here. Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, the satellite's in a slightly different position this time. Let's head a little more this Come way. Right to course zero, zero, eight. Hell my. I can keep that toad array up there. Uh, I don't need the other one. I can just drop it. Complete. Throw Continue up. with your mission. Okay, spasiba. Um, yeah. So there it is, zero one. The satellite is right there. Uh, Steady on course. Zero, zero, I want to be able to eight, see like other people approaching this thing. What's the bearing on that? Four five, so I can go to uh, fifteen or something here. Come right. Yeah. Course zero. That should still not. Ha oh, there you go. Hello. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing Picking up someone zero, else out here, man. Uh, let's come back this way. Might get in a position to launch on this person who's approaching this set, this uh, thing here or something. No, I don't need to assign another tracker. I know who that is. Trafalgar. That would be in the Kula. That would be in the Kula. All right. Let's get a solution going on Mr. Trafalgar here. Shit, I might even ping him. I might even ping him. Spherical. Not seeing one the sphere. That is fine. Oh, uh, well. Naraband's seeing him. I'm not seeing him, though. Alright. Match bearings and fire. <laughs> but, sir, Captain, we are too close. Do it now. Alright, uh... So this is a pretty hectic mission here. Um, we need to get some data on this guy quickly. We gotta do it now. Da, do it, do it now. Track review. Select array. Toad. Uh, if you are indeed in the Kula, you seem to be going rather fast. 16 knots. Wow. Sierra 4, 16 knots. You're really trying to get for this satellite, aren't you there, good sir? Well, I'm gonna get you first. I'm gonna get you. All right, you're gonna be far out there because I don't expect you. I don't. Well, I'm not too exactly sure what you're doing. Okay, so you're something like this, or potentially the other way around. No, I can't really change. But I don't know. It could be something like that. But whoever this guy is, he needs to get. He needs to go. He's got to go. Move out parallel to me. Has to go. Maybe I can, I can at least drive him off, but I want to sink him if I'm going to try and pick up this satellite. Uh, select array. Nothing on the spherical. Really. No whiff of anything. Well, the narrowband is seeing it, but it's just such, it's so faint that I can't pick it out. The computer can see it. Um, let's go west. Come right to course zero, nine, and he's one, going 16 knots, so his sensors are like all but washed out at that point. Where's the layer? Still about a thousand feet? Yeah. Alright, so I can at least try and get it like a... Ah, uh, what was it? Uh, even has the same number of letters as port, so even is on the port. Um, there you go. So let's... uh. Let's just get some stuff. I don't know if it's going to reset my stuff if I try and like put in a new solution or something here. All right, he might be like turning down towards it now. Not too terribly sure. He's getting close though. Hopefully down here I can get some WAA on his ass just to really firm up the solution real quick here. Yeah, speed up time so we can straighten out this turn. All right. Any WAA. Okay, we got WA on the satellite, 14288, 7 nautical miles. 
Yeah, it's a little off. My solution's probably a little off. Uh, Sierra 1. Back. Zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that boom, boom. Now that's pretty freaking stationary, dude. Right there. Alright, uh... Maybe yeah, we can get a ping on this dude or something. <laughs> Just throw out a ping and launch on him. Zoom out. He's either changed course or he's at a different range. I just don't have enough data here, man. You gotta really work on the fly to get a good solution here. It seems to be about around here. Seems to be about around here. Um, I'm not too terribly sure. I don't even know if I'm close enough to get a good ping on his ass. Still going at 16 knots. I could get a torp out there just to spook him, but... I feel like I want something a little more solid than just a torp to spook him. But let's go ahead and classify him up as an Akula. No, let's go for that. Confidence medium threat. Let's go back to... Um, what did I want? I wanted to go back to something. What did I want to go back to? Did I want to go back to here? Uh... I guess I wanted to go, oh yeah, I wanted to assign it to here. All right, run to enable. Let's go with the old 15,000 here. Yeah, let's go with 14,000, so by the time it gets to the satellite, it's already gonna be enabled. Don't want it to go for the satellite, though. That's a good good bit there. All right, uh, stay, yeah, that's good. Stay, yeah, pretty deep. Um, don't want you to crash into an iceberg or something. Um, floor, just go as deep as you can. So this guy can't dive underneath of it. All right, let's get that tube open there. Maybe not yet. I don't want to get that flow noise going on yet. Oh, I feel like I should be just about ready to see him on the spherical there. Let's go back to the toad and see what it's saying. Anything new? Nope, just the 320 is most likely in a cooler. Frequency scale, zoom in. Can't see a fourth frequency. What do we got on the hull? It's probably getting close to washed out at this point. Yeah, not much there. We have a pretty strong contact on him. Hey, there's some WAA right there. 18,000. What was I saying? I was pretty close. All right, we're getting the torp out on his butt. On your butt. All right, let's put this up to 17,000 RTE. Open that tube. This dude's got to go. Man, we're, we're getting firing really quickly here, aren't we? <laughs> Only took a mission fail first, right, or something. All right, we should be able to launch the torp at this speed. I hope it doesn't, like, kill us. <laughs> uh, Just for good measure. Let's do some of that. Fire. Launch tube two. Aye, sir. Launch tube two. Aye, sir. Yeah, those things are supposed to be shooting out at, like, full speed just about, man. I don't know why they couldn't at least model that. Your ass is grass, Akula. Wait for him to juice it up now. He's going to be going shitting pants. Shitting a brick, if I ever told you. But man, is he rushing in there to get that satellite, dude. <laughs> oh, my nose is starting to run. I don't have a tissue. Uh, sleeve. For science. Okay. Oh, let's see here. Oh, he's canning it. Not speeding up just yet. Yeah, I mean, that's going out there for a really big intersection course there. He seems to be going steady. She goes here just about. Um, let's turn back steady towards the satellite zero, here. Nine, one, come left to course zero, let's six, start picking up one, some ground on the satellite there. Want to make sure we actually are getting close to that. <laughs> uh, do I want to record two episodes right now? I kind of do. Let's do it. We're recording two episodes. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And have a good one. Let's uh, hope my torpedo can pounce. See ya.